In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a custom attribute that you can use to put data into a webhook. And this is immensely important, really valuable for a sophisticated chatbot because it means anything that your user has said in the course of the conversation could be put into the webhook. And this is great if you want either some sort of live uh, connection between the conversation and an app, or if you just simply want to stock a database full of the data, this is how you do it. Um, and basically the process takes two stages. You define the user input uh, that you want, and then you define the attribute that you want to put in the uh, webhook and you match them. You, you make sure that the attribute is loaded up with the variable. And, and it's probably easier to show you than, it, than to explain. So I made a little bot here, which is going to gather emails, but it could be gathering anything. I mean, it could be you know a recipe that you're gathering. Uh, but I'm, we're using email just, just for the sake of illustration. So here's the bot. It's asking for the email. Uh, this is the interaction when it gets the email. And, you know, please type your email. What's important is it has a number. Each of the interactions are numbered. On the right-hand side is how you find the number. And this one, extract email, double three, double seven, two oh. That's going to be important because now we're going to define a custom variable. and. There's other videos that will tell you all about variables. We, we usually use them uh, sort of for sort of mathematical functions for keeping count and that kind of thing. But your variable could be text, and, and that's what it is in this instance. The label could be anything. I mean, I've called it email for obvious reasons, but you could call it recipe. And the crucial thing is what's going into that variable is what the person has just typed in 337720. If you wanted their data from another interaction, you put in the other number. So beautiful, you've now got a variable which is defined by your user, great. How do you hook it up to the webhook? This is where you need an attribute. So after, and this is important that it, come, it comes after the user has put in their data, you can then define a custom attribute. There's some predefined attributes, I'll show you them later, but there's some, this is for you to define your own attribute. And here's the one I did earlier, email and anything. And I'll just show you again how I did that. Um, simple. You give your attribute a label. could be anything. And then at this point, uh, it doesn't actually matter what you say for value. I'm going to say anything. But you could, you could put a number. It doesn't matter because we're going to replace that value with the user input. So there you go. You've done two things now, right? You've um, defined the custom variable as the user input, and you've created an attribute ready to go to the webhook. At the moment, this attribute is going to send the word anything to the webhook. We've Now what we've got to do is re replace that word anything with the user input, and it's easy. We just uh, have a particular way of saying it, which is um, up here, there. So that's the key message that you put in. It, this is all in a tutorial document as well, by the way, if you don't want to pause the video and write it down. There it is, set attribute email, so the one we just defined a couple of interactions earlier, is gonna be, and then put show var email, in other words, show the result of the variable email which we defined. So there you go, you've now imported the user data into the attribute, and it's just a case of sending the webhook. The uh, webhooks you can attach to interactions, thus, and also to the fallback, which is great. So you can, the fallback, if the user, you can set, uh, uh, set it so that the bot moves on and always sends the interaction this way. So you, you, you send the webhook that way. And when you come to choose what the webhook sends, well, this is the great thing now. You click from this list, and here's all the predetermined ones that for from um, Facebook but in particular. So, you know, the bot can uh, know their name, the locale, gender, and so on. But it's also got, let's add that in as well, uh, the option now of adding in the email one, which you created earlier. If you can't see the, the one you've defined, uh, make sure, go back and make sure that you've, you've um, labeled it properly and, and it'll be there. So let's put that email in and click add. So now our webhook is going to send last name, gender, and email. Great. Uh, so you, you have your URL where you want the webhook to go to. I've just picked this one from a, a site where you can test what happens. 
and uh, that's it. It's all set to go. So let's see how this actually works out. We'll go test it on the web channel and the bot's explaining what it's going to do. Please type my email, just put in a little test one. Thank you. And it's, uh, yeah, that's it. That's okay. I've made this bot as well. So if you want to download the bot as a template, just to get all these structures in place right from the beginning, save you a bit of time, you're very welcome to do that. Just look up the um, custom attribute template. And now it says it's going to send it. Okay, that's it. Hopefully your email was sent to the webhook and quickly now. This is just a, a friendly website that allows you to test. Let's uh, see if that webhook came in. Boom, there it is. Brilliant. Test came in. That's the email. Uh, gender, last name. And obviously if it was a messenger bot, these, these would be filled in by their, their actual results. Great. Isn't that powerful?